Uh, I'm Lovelet. I was the winner of the student of the year. I was so happy, especially that, you know, it's just that when you feel like you're being recognized for what you're doing, it, it's a good feeling. Yes, yeah, so my parents were very, very happy as well. Growing up back home, I was very close to my siblings, which was very nice. I, I never valued like family time. <laughs> I was um, I was just in grade two. I think I was around seven years old. I wanted to go for boarding school, and I've always been in boarding school ever since. And now that I'm I'm so away from home, that's when I'm like, okay, I wish I wish I I, I never went to boarding school maybe or. I had more time with my family because I think it will never happen again. When, when, I, when I found out that my parents couldn't, you know, find my education anymore in the UK, it was so expensive for them. Ten years later, it won't be about them, it's going to be about me. So um, I decided to run for a student union president when I felt like our student union really needed a president who's passionate about the role. I, I first made sure that my campaigns were like very clean, very genuine and very involving. One of my supporters was Indian, was of Indian descent, went to the Oval and he met a, a group of my opponent's supporters. They were more like, oh, why are you supporting Lovelet? Are you supporting a black girl? You know, the Asian gods are against supporting you blacks, especially it's worse even if you're supporting a black woman. The girls will never forgive you for supporting a black woman. And um, they kept on saying, why is she giving you in return? Does she give you sex or something? You know, an issue until when it's mentioned, that's when it becomes an issue. Whenever they would see a black person passing, they'll be like, do you see your family? Do you see your family? You know, which wasn't quite nice. I'm a black woman and these are the real challenges that people face. And this time it's me. It, it, will, it will always happen if we let it happen. If we do something about it, probably it will never happen. So I was like, it's, I shouldn't be selfish just to think about myself. In the process of for like making things better, that's when I realized like our student union does not speak for racism, does speak for sexism, they don't have anything at all. As soon as the incidents happened, I reported it to the elections committee team and um, they investigated obviously. But they never got back to me at all. And by then it was more like rumors spreading and you know it's, it demoralizes you as a person in campaign march. I was more of like low and I didn't want my friends to know what was happening. I trusted the election committee. I was like you know they're doing something about it but I didn't hear from them up to. I never heard from them. That's when I was like you know no love left. <laughs> you know, this is not right and you have to speak for this. I it's not just for you, it's also for your future, it's, it's also for many other people who run for president or run for any position actually. That's when I, I was like, okay, I have to put up a petition. I received an email from them on Saturday. On Saturday, it's not even a working day, they didn't even reply on Friday or Thursday, but they came to reply on Saturday. It's not allowed for a person who's already announced to be elected to be announced as president. Last year, we had a, a black presidential candidate who was withdrawn from elections. But this time, someone with such very serious allegations still left in elections, announced as president, still being cheered up at the same time being investigated. Does that make sense? It doesn't. Is this person better off than our black candidate? Because now I feel like it's, it's obviously a race thing. And something else I told him, I told them like, you are not willing to take the investigation thorough. You, you left it last minute up to when I put up the petitions. So is it because I don't matter me as a person? I've done so much for the university, I've done so much for the union. I feel like if you respect me like the way I've respected your jobs and projects, I don't feel like this was right. You should have taken this seriously and at least gotten back to me, you know, like now that we're doing something about it. Message after the tone. To re record your message, key hatch at any time. 